Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu ba -ba -da. Apparently they call it the gentle art Sometimes when I shrimp ba -ba -da, The sudden movement makes me fart Excuse me Hi there, my name is James and thank you so much for checking out my podcast Dad Mind Matters Helping men to safely navigate family life without losing their minds in this podcast, I'm going to talk to a mate of mine, Keith, who I've been training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu with for about the past six years. I started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in 2016, and I can honestly say it's had the most profound effect on my mental and physical health. Let's hear how Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has affected Keith's life. <sighs> so, Keith, we've <sighs> been training Jiu-Jitsu for how long? Six years. You must be six years. years. Huh? I've probably been, <laughs> yeah. I, Keith definitely started a couple of years after me, and as you can see from his belt, has he's on the uh, the fast track. Uh, he's on the management sure. fast track. You're about six hours a week, though, mate. What do you do? Uh, I do. I coach the kids twice, probably twice a week, and yeah, once or twice a week I get to come down. Um, so I'm about twenty percent in front of you then. Yeah, but what if you were if you were promoting jujitsu to dads? Can you give me three reasons why Ooh. you would suggest it? Um, good, uh, it helps your mental health. It gives you a place to go to. In what way does it help your mental health? Well, you can go out, go and uh, get rid of any energy, anger, um, yeah. the emotions that you get being a dad yeah. uh, at home, you know, with all the ups and downs that you've got. I think it gives you some of that. It gives you um, fitness, obviously, is massive. Yeah. And um, <sighs> mental health, fitness, and I'd say progression in your life with your family and your work and because all that kind of stuff, you are it, for you it's a family affair your wife and your son both do jiu-jitsu don't they yeah which is awesome and how are yeah. they getting on really well actually Seb's doing good he's uh, six years in uh, and from four he started at four so he's now ten you see i remember little Seb when you and me used to roll and yeah. he used to run on and jump on your back yeah, like, yeah. during a roll yeah yeah uh, so he's literally yeah. grown up watching you roll. Yeah, well, in fact, I've, I watched him roll to start with. He started first. Really? He came here, yeah, when he turned four years old, we wanted to give him something so he could look after himself. And when he gets older, when he's in his teens and that. And this seemed like the right thing. So once he started, uh, six months later, I started. And uh, after sitting on the sidelines and watching and thinking this looks like fun. You see, I got that wrong. I thought it was you, yeah. then Stacy, then Seb. So it was actually Seb, then you, then Stacey? Yeah. If you oh, ever see any okay. photos of all three of us with our geese and belts on, Seb's always at the top of the line. Oh, okay. Because he says he's the highest belt, because he's been here the longest. <laughs> nice. And in fairness, he's got more belts than I have. And how do you, how do you find it helps with family life? Oh, um, having the missus do it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, firstly, it makes it a lot easier to get here. Yes. So, so you don't have that, uh, oh, you're not allowed to go to jiu-jitsu tonight business. Uh, yeah. We all want to go to So she's got the bug as well now. Yeah, and we have a place to sort out our marital affairs on the mat as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's, well, it's exactly. We did um, self-defense last week or the week before. And we got the, the they got the uh, boxing gloves out. So <laughs> really? I got bashed around the head on Who so wins? Much. Well, or the missus. So really. you're, you're a purple, yeah. four-strike purple belt. Yeah. So you're dangerously close to becoming the higher echelons of jiu-jitsu. Indeed, yeah. But I can't obviously use all my plumber's strength and uh, man's strength on this. So I have it's to because I know you as the friendliest and... plumber in East Sussex, but um, they, they just that would be a tip. Don't ever shortchange yeah. pay your invoices on time. Yeah. I will knock on your door, otherwise. Yeah. No, I know what you mean. Jiu-jitsu is it's so many things. Physical health, mental health, the feeling of community. Yeah, yeah. Um, and progression in your life, mate. You yeah. Because you're so used to coming here and doing something that you suck at all the time and seeing a very, very long, slow progression, you can apply that to your life. And to, like me, I've got a business, I can apply that to my business as well. So um, getting used to, to you know, achieving the bigger goals in, um, in my life because I don't give up so easily because I realise that I have to just yeah, keep like at, it and at it and at it and at it. So know, basically just putting yourself. In, in, in learning something that's really difficult yeah. helps every other element of your life, doesn't it? Yeah. How do you, has it affected your relationships with, sort of, with Seb? How does he get on at school? you think that... Because I know certainly for my boys it really helps with their anger issues and their kind of... 
just behaviour in general at school? Well, he's not um, scared to uh, roll around with the boys, that's for sure. Good. And, yeah, he's, you know, if, um, if people are getting a bit rough with him, what have you, he knows he, he can uh, provide boundaries for them. So he gives him a lot of confidence there. Um, in the classroom, I don't know. I don't know well, he's obviously doing right because you don't have much from the sounds of it, if any behaviour issues. So he's obviously doing something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he has his moments. Awesome. Uh, he's been investigated for autism at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, by, uh, by the council to see uh, if he needs any additional help. So but I think without his jiu-jitsu, I think he would be going in, yeah. in difficulties. Any tip for anyone starting jiu-jitsu? Yeah, uh, come, turn up, get through the front door, and um, every day that you come, if you don't, not sure where to go, you don't know, you keep coming up with excuses and whatever, you just get to the front door. And how do you, how do you keep door. going? What's the most challenging thing about Jiu-Jitsu? Um, sucking at it, feeling like you're, you know, <laughs> all the time, permanently, uh, and, you know, just always getting beaten by people. Yeah, I get uh, that Who you expect to uh, be better than you're not, um, because, you know, you are who you are on a particular day, on a particular time, and you know that person. What's the best thing about Jiu-Jitsu, if you had to sum it up? Oh, what's the best thing about Jiu-Jitsu? It's, I think it's the fam it's like the family that is provided yeah. here, the, the kind of, the holistic whole experience of life on the mat being the same as life in reality, and having this whole family of people that you can all progress and grow with. Yeah, I like that. Mate, you've got to go and roll, there's people, your yeah. wife, oh, no, she's, 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 got, she's got plans, she's got an Ezekiel yeah. choke, she needs to perfect. <laughs> You've lost and torture keys. Next time we talk, you'll be a black belt. Take Thanks, it easy. Cheers. Thanks, mate. I really hope you got some of this podcast. And if you train Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and be interested in being involved in a future podcast, please comment below. I hope wherever you are in the world, you're okay. Take care. Dad Mind Matters, helping men safely navigate family life without losing their minds. Two podcasts every week on a Monday and a Thursday.